Hello, this is Eitan Shalom at the Body Mind Wellness Center, and I'm doing dry needling today on someone who has both a neck pain and a, a, a kind of a dizziness related to her vestibular function. And um, I've done these needles by on both sides, um, and uh, so I'm on the right side now. And so here I've done the upper trapezius, uh, upper trapezius where it inserts into the base of the skull. This is for the neck pain and to open up, you could also say this is dry needling, but you could also analyze it from the Chinese medicine standpoint and say that what we're doing is opening up the flow of qi to the skull. And this is the attachment of the levator scapula on the uh, transverse process of the cervical spine. I also did a point which I've taken out at the top of the head, which is an acupuncture point called uh, um, Governing Vessel 20. Uh, the Chinese name means the meeting point of uh, a, th a thousand channels or a hundred channels, I forget. And um, that's a point that we use to clear the mind. So we can use that point with students who are and, and scholars that are studying a lot and have a lot, or anybody who's got a lot on their mind. It's a point that calms the mind, clears the brain. And uh, if you follow from the ear to the top of the skull, it's, it's right on the midline. Sorry, it's right on the midline. So I did that point. That was an acupuncture point. I'm doing dry needling here. Dry needling to release the upper trapezius. So these are the motor points of the upper trapezius. And then I am doing paraspinal muscles, uh, sorry, points on the paraspinal uh, muscles. These are called Watto points in Chinese medicine and acupuncture. So this is dry needling into the small muscles between T3 and uh, T4, and then T4 and T5. Uh, why am I doing these? Um, this is This is doing two things at the same time. I'm doing dry needling into those muscles so I'm, I, I'm, I'm uh, about a half, a half an inch lateral to the spinous process, and I'm angling in towards the spine, so I'm not anywhere near the lungs. So I'm, I'm, and this is, see the dry needle, and we do that lifting and thrusting like that into the muscle. Do you feel that a little mm -hmm. bit? And so I'm doing this for two reasons. One... People get, a, people get a lot of, uh, in the modern world, get a lot of tension in the upper thoracic spine when they have uh, neck pain. So it's an indirect way to address that. Uh, as it, 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 That's number one. And number two, this is the point in Chinese medicine, it's the uh, back, uh, it's related to the back shoe point, the regulating point for what we call the lungs and the pericardium. And so when someone's got any kind of stress issues, especially if they're what we call a heart type, which she is, the pericardium is the Chinese described organ that protects the heart energetically, emotionally. So these are great emotional points is what I'm getting at to release. Uh, and they work in tandem with that one on the top of the head. So I'm doing an acupuncture theory pattern and I'm doing a dry needling, specific dry needling of the physical uh, part of the problem, the, the upper trapezius attachments and the levator. But at the same time, I'm seeing her as an individual, as a human being, as a person. And according to Chinese medicine, you always want to look at anything underlying uh, the case. So let's say somebody has low back pain, chronic low back pain, and they have an anxiety disorder, those are not separate issues. So we, we would address them both. So in her case, um, for reasons that I'm not going to go into, I chose the lung points uh, and the pericardium points um, for their energetic function. There's nothing wrong with her physical lung per se or her physical pericardium. This is how Chinese medicine has a system that describes the effect of the emotions on the nervous system and the nervous system on the body. So that's those points. And for the same reason, I did points in the mid thoracic. Um, the, the, these are the Watto points in Chinese medicine. They're called for the liver. Um, they also happen to be at the thoracolumbar junction where people get a lot of tension. That's why twisting exercises can be so good for us. This is an area that will often pop when people twist. So this is, it has to do with the energy involved with frustration and pressure 
and even with some people, anger. If somebody has anger issues, I might do this point. She doesn't have anger issues per se, but, you know, like most of us right now, she has pressure. And then the other thing unrelated to this is that she has uh, a long-standing problem uh, in the back of her leg with a limited range of motion in her lateral hamstring. So I have done the motor point, the motor point here of the lateral biceps femoris and let me move the camera that way so this is when you once the needle's in then you you stimulate it like this in dry needling do you feel that at all I do. yeah when i first put this in the muscle released a lot it jumped and now it doesn't need to so i'm just going back and checking sometimes it releases a lot more the second time and then i've got the something here as well and then uh getting back to the chinese medicine piece um i've done this point on both sides and getting back to the fact that she has dizziness and vertigo these are points that drain the excess chi dizziness and vertigo and she also has some trouble focusing concentrating on some coursework that she's doing um that's uh conceptualized as a, as a kind of Think about it when you can't concentrate, your brain feels foggy. So we're draining the fog out of the brain with this point, UB60 in Chinese medicine bilaterally. We're very fond in Chinese medicine of if there's a problem with too much of something in the head, doing points on the feet. In fact, when I turn her over, I'll do some points on the feet as well um, that are related to the liver chi, which tends to rise to the head and make it hard to focus. Think about it. Um, uh, and this isn't her case, but if you were really angry, uh, you can't focus, right? When, you, when you're under pressure, a lot of pressure, uh, and you can't focus, right? Like people that don't take exams well because they're too nervous. It's like instead of an ocean of calm in the brain, there's an ocean of either wind or an ocean of mud. And so one way to get that wind out of the brain is with these distal points. The way to get the mud out of the brain is to do points like uh, Zhu Sanli, stomach 36, which send a, a, a rising of the clear chi up to the head. And this is why diet can be so important as well. Won't get into it now, but a diet that's overly rich in heavy, damp producing foods, such as dairy, wheat, sugar, and meat, red meat, uh, or any or pork as well, flesh foods with its excessive in those foods and insufficient in, in vegetables. A diet rich in those foods will create muddy conditions in the brain in the same way that they make you fat. Because when they make you fat, what is fat? Fat is 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 a kind of uh, if when you, if, if you when you cook in a flesh food, the fat all melts, right? So fat is a kind of congealed dampness, and the brain. And we say brain, we don't mean something's wrong with your physical brain. The mind, the mind is affected by food. And we know that from that movie that the guy made about eating junk food and then he got depression. We know that from Chinese medicine. So a diet that has too much of the heavy, damp producing foods, which you need a little bit of to be, have strength. Um, uh, eating only vegetables won't give you strength. There's no protein. Um, but an excess amount of that will then give you a lack of mental clarity. So that's what I'm doing on her, a combination of dry needling and classical Chinese acupuncture. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you like the video, please like it and subscribe, subscribe to the channel. So here's another view of the point combination. I already took out the needles on the left side. These were bilateral and on both sides. I decided to make the movie after I took some of those out. Okay, thank you.